the first edition of the Diario of Francisco Xavier de Viana. I'm Adam Douglas, Senior Specialist in Rare Books at Peter Harrington, and I'd like to show you this copy of the book, which was printed in Montevideo in 1849. It's actually printed on army presses during a military campaign, so that might explain why this is one of the rarest of the great Pacific voyages, actually of the 18th century, although it's printed in 1849. If we go back to the title and uh, do a little, uh, I'll spare you my Spanish accent, and we can translate the title. It's uh, basically the diary of uh, Viana, who was a, an ensign in this, uh, in this journey. Uh, it's the voyage of two Spanish corvettes, uh, the Descubierta and the Atrevida, which I suppose in English would be the Discovery and the Intrepid. And they were sailing in the years 1789 through to 1793. There's two versions actually of this title in the book because the front wrapper, which would serve as a, as a, a front wrapper if the book were left just in unbound, so has slightly different wording. And we can see here uh, it's slightly toned paper and it's got an early ownership inscription of one Eduardo Fox um, on the title page there, 1868, slightly later. Uh, this is really one of the most uh, interesting Pacific voyages. Uh, the admiral was Alessandro or Alejandra uh, Malaspina, and he was uh, an Italian in the service of the Spanish crown. And the idea was that this voyage would be a Pacific voyage to rival those of Captain Cook or La Perouse. And he explored the Pacific coast of the Americas from uh, California right up to Alaska. He then went out to the Philippines and then down to Australia, New Zealand and Tonga. It's uh, an interesting time when he arrived at Australia. He visits Port Jackson, what is now Sydney of course, only four years after the settlement had been established there. And so this is really the first account, eyewitness account of conditions there from somebody who wouldn't necessarily be uh, sympathetic, uh, but he describes life going on there in Port Jackson. He describes the convicts and how they were treated and how they behaved and uh, many other things, uh, which make it of considerable interest uh, uh, as an Australian item, a piece of Australiana. But it's also a Pacific voyage. Uh, Malaspina got himself uh, involved in a court intrigue. He was accused of mounting a coup or helping to mount a coup against the Spanish crown. And so he was disgraced, which explains why the account is published so much later than the actual uh, voyage itself. So very rare, uh, extraordinary piece of printing coming out of a, a military press in the middle of a campaign. Uh, and so uh, very rarely met with in commerce, certainly. This copy, as I've said, retains its original printed front wrapper, which is very similar to the rest of the text, it's, it has the same surround, but it's uh, on slightly different paper. And uh, in this copy, it's very slightly brown because somebody's put a, an old news clipping facing it, um, uh, noting the interest of this to uh, uh, Americana collectors. It's a very nice copy then preserved in a binding of, it's actually roan, it's uh, dressed to look like straight grained Morocco, but actually that is uh, sheepskin rather than goat skin. Nevertheless, very good quality uh, binding of its type and uh, very attractive with gilt tooling on the spine. Uh, makes a very handsome copy of the book, well preserved with good margins all round and no worming or staining. A nice clean copy of this rare Pacific voyage. There are more details of this book and many other Pacific voyages and other travel works on the Peter Harrington website.